Let us think of Detroit. What do we see? What was once a prosperous industrial city of more than 1800,000 people has been reduced to less than half of that amount in just a couple of decades. Due to continuous population loss, the city has been facing significant development challenges such as underused infrastructure, vacant properties and rising unemployment. There is a growing number of cities like Detroit around the world today. We call them shrinking cities, while the process of their decline is known as urban shrinkage. My research explores how shrinking cities can transition to urban circularity. Instead of just producing and disposing of waste, circularity entails the looping use of resources in cities through various activities, such as recycling or sharing. In that way, we can maximize their utilization and reduce waste generation. Sounds useful, right? However, while it primarily offers a more efficient uh, mode of resource consumption in cities, I believe that urban circularity can be an important yet unexplored asset in tackling shrinkage. In the first place, by introducing new activities to shrinking cities, such as urban farming, it can help to reutilize vacant properties while reducing unemployment as well. Moreover, tapping into so far unused resources that exist in waste or abandoned infrastructure provides a novel opportunity for shrinking cities to revive their crumbling economies. However, not everyone can be expected to easily commit to these new activities, such as recycling or sharing of resources. That is why the central issue of transitioning to circularity concerns the question of governance, which considers the efforts to involve a huge variety of stakeholders and align their expectations and ambitions. On that account, I decided to study and compare the interests and expectations of different actors when engaging in circular activities in two shrinking European cities. Knowing how they perceive and feel about circularity appears as a crucial piece in governing transition. Therefore, my research aims to examine how different actors can come and work together in order to deliver urban circularity to shrinking cities. The findings of this research will help actors in shrinking cities to better capitalize on the opportunities offered by urban circularity and possibly tackle urban shrinkage. Now, let us think of Detroit once again. What do we see now? Personally, I can see a prospering city which practices urban circularity. Can you see the same?